uh, <coughs> JavaScript this keyword value inside an array function uh, <coughs> using the ESC syntaxes. So uh, we're gonna have very simple example, and so let's say we have a function, and uh, the function with the name person. Okay. And we're gonna pass in two arguments, which is gonna be nickname, nickname, and then country. Okay. Then inside the function, we'll try to use the this keyword. So this this nickname will be equal to nickname, and then we use this dot. Mm, let's do country here. Dot country. Okay. Then now we're gonna have another function using the this to refer to that function. So this dot get. That's the info. And this is a a variable linked to a function so let's get this one going so we want to create outer function contest so outer function contest so this is the person object here and then well we have the return here for this outer and we use the arrow and then we have another function for this return and for this one it's gonna be the inner this is the outer this is gonna be the inner function, inner function contest, but uh, inner function contest, and it's still gonna be the personal object. So let's print this out. So this we're gonna print document dot write. Then we have this dot constructor. So calling the constructor here uh, dot name okay so this is simply a person a person of object here and here we'll print what we have with it, this nickname and then country so let me do document dot write then we'll print using we want to use the template literal we learn in 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 the ESS feature so we'll use the back tick and then we'll have a paragraph tag let's say hi I am um, then I'll use the dollar sign curly brackets then I'll call this dot nickname okay then I will say from from then I have the template literal here so this one I'll be calling uh, country so using the desk keyword um, I'll call country here I'll have a closing p tag here and then a back tick. Back tick is right below the escape in the keyboard. So let me terminate this. Now let's use two variables here. So let's say P is equal to a new person. 
a mirror of a mirror of what of the function person and then we have let's say the nickname is Rick and then we have the nickname is for this country let's say Brazil now we get print info we call in print info here that's uh, another variable and this variable is more or less like a function here which we're gonna call so print info is equal to the p variable which is passing the Rick and Brazil in here to the person object we will say get get info and this info is from here because we are using the this function to refer it back so we can call it this way and now we'll say print info which is this one that is called just like a function in here so what we're gonna see on the screen is what hi I'm Rick from Brazil okay so why do we have this printing as a person here called this is just the window so document dot write this that constructor dot name will print this person which is the whole uh, function we have here and it's gonna just print the name for us to see then inside we can pass these values that we have here and pass it through the argument and then it's gonna print out from this side so this is how we use uh, this keyword inside uh, Java, uh, JavaScript ES6 okay so let's see we wanna try uh, the ESS classes how we can actually implement the ESS classes in our code so let's look at the a critical example of how to use that so let's say ESS classes and for example we're gonna have a class name rectangle rectangle and we'll have a constructor in here constructor so we're gonna call this the class uh, class constructor okay so with the constructor let's have since it's a rectangle we're gonna have length length and then width of the rectangle here great so we using the this here which is this dot length and it's equal to what the length Now we have this the width. Now we have the width here. Okay. After our constructor, let's get the class method. So we have let's say class method here. Okay. So the class method is get let's say we get in the area and get area now we want to return uh, this dot the length we have up there and then since it's gonna be the area it's gonna be length times width and that will be this dot no 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 this dot width okay all right so now we have our class and inside the class we have 
our constructor that is the class constructor which is this length and then width we use the key uh, this keyword to refer back to the length and the width then we have the class method and the class method is get area which returns the length times the width okay so we have our constructor set let's jump out of the rectangle constructor now we say we have a square let's have a square class here and inherit that inherit from the rectangle class okay so we're gonna inherit from the class we have up there so let's say we have a class of what square and if we want to inherit then we have to extend so we extend from the rectangle oh I spelled this wrong rectangle okay so we extending from the rectangle class so now we can use a child class constructor from the rectangle so child class constructor and a child class constructor so we can say constructor then we'll have which one will have the length constructor so and then uh, let me see okay so in here we uh, will call parent constructor here parent constructor here so call parent constructor okay so here we gonna since we we are actually extending or inheriting for re the rectangle class and we want to call the parent constructor we need to use the keyword super so super length super length length okay so we we actually using the constructor length here so let's check this one mm -hmm. now we'll be having a child method for this extent so we'll be having a child method uh, a child class method okay so here we we'll say get uh, get parameter get parameter and we will be getting uh, this get parameter we will return let's return to two times uh, two times this okay so now we have a child method set mm. now what what we can do here is to make use of these uh, constructors we already have and now we need to print and then uh, pass numbers into this constructors which is length and then width so we have the extend here and then um, we are using the extended rectangle we are using the length in order to get our parameter here so let's make use of that so let's say we have uh, let rectangle and be equal to uh, new rectangle
rectangle so new rectangle and then we'll be passing in two values for the length 5 and then for the width 10 here so this is going to calculate our rectangle for us when we do document.print so document.write here and we'll have our rectangle dot no dot get the area so the get area is here which will do the calculation for us and this is a method so so what do you think we'll get here it's just gonna multiply this by this for us and we'll get 50 for this one so let's refresh and then we have 50 here so now we're making use of our get area inside our class constructor okay so let's see what else can we make use in here mm, let me have a break for this now let me just print this with a break below this okay so now let's say we want to use the square this one that we have extended from the rectangle so we have extended only the constructor for length and then we're performing some parameter which is two times that of this get area okay so let's say let's square let's square be equal to new square uh, new square and then this square will be assigned to 5 because we are only using the length okay not including the area uh, the width okay so now we say mm, get document that right square here so we say square dot get area this will just move to next line we we'll add an extra thing to it mm, let me see so let's square be equal to new square five document that's right new square dot get area trying to use oh this is it's a mistake here this is capital s and then oh we get the variable the variable which is this is a small so mm, yes so we should get our result on the screen that should be somewhere on 25 okay so we got 25 for the square side and then we got 50 for the rectangle okay so we can also try to check the type of the square the type which we've already studied this before so if we want to check the type of a square what would we do we'll simply check type of to see whether it's a string or so in here we simply call the square and we we'll check the instance of the square
or instance of the square would tell us if it is true or false but we can still do a uh, type of here type of and then it is a function so the main goal here was to learn how to use what JavaScript classes in ES6 and now we have sample uh, ways of using the ES6 classes and we have a simple rectangle class with a constructor and a method and we have extended from that constructor and had a square in here which is extending from rectangle using the length constructor and then getting another class method which is making use of the this dot length and this dot width class method inside the extended constructor so now we print out a rectangle calculation from it and then we print out a square calculation from that too okay that is really cool now let's look at uh, ES6 uh, JavaScript rest parameter rest parameter let's experiment on how to use es6 rest parameter in our code so we're gonna have a function and we'll call the function let's say sort name so sort names yeah let's just any name should be fine sort names so sort names we want to return something in this function just to learn how to use how to use rest parameter so here to use the rest parameter we can simply use the three dots here and passing that argument names then we can call this names dot what dot sort using the sort method in here okay then we can simply do document dot right and we'll have the function which is the sort names sort names and with the sort names we're gonna have we're gonna have the argument pass since we have used the delimiter which is the dot 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 names it means we can pass in values here without having to explicitly uh for example here first if we want to pass more argument here we need to have probably one argument let's say name one uh, name two name three and name maybe name five but what if we have more than this name five parameters we want to pass here we need to put in more 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 like we need to add more inside here but what this is doing and it's helping is that when we pass in this one it means we can pass in several what names without thinking about how many we can pass to this function so that is the beauty of this rex param uh, rest parameter for es6 so let's say we have name here uh, one name here we have another name here and then we have another name here okay and we can add more to it but let's say this is what we got so
so when we print we have what we have in there showing on the screen and we can duplicate this and it should work fine okay so this is how we use the rest parameter inside ES6. What if we want to get extra function argument?